Viewed by auto experts as the ultimate executive express, the BMW M5 offers a unique combination of high performance, superb comfort, and outstanding refinement. With its sports car-like response and handling, the M5 continues a BMW tradition of excellence that goes back to 1928, when the German company branched out into auto manufacturing after building a worldwide reputation in the aircraft engine industry. The M5 was developed and engineered by the M division of BMW and draws on racing experience that includes wins on the racetracks of the world in every class from Formula One to touring cars. M5 power comes from a highly sophisticated, mostly aluminum, 5-liter V8 that endows the car with very rapid acceleration and a top speed designed to be completely at home on Germany's unlimited speed autobahns. M5 owners like the subtle statement this car makes. While its dynamic front air dam, 18-inch alloy wheels, and four purposeful exhaust pipes make it clearly identifiable as M Power. The cabin is as luxurious as a Fortune 500 boardroom to make the exec on the move feel at home. 
Burl walnut trim graces dash and console, and opulent leathers are used for seating and door panels. An optional navigation system means there's no excuse to be late for a business meeting. The M5 represents the most dynamic example of what makes BMW M the most powerful letter in the world. When the designers at BMW first penned the Z3 Roadster, they were determined to capture the essence of open-air sports cars of years gone by while incorporating every current technical refinement. The Z3 2.8 puts out over 190 horsepower and provides substantial torque in every gear, just what BMW enthusiasts expect. BMW's inline sixes are famed for their silky response, and the one under the long hood of the Z3 2.8 is no exception. To accommodate the 2.8's power gains over its four-cylinder stablemate, the upgraded Z3 has a wider rear track with more muscular bodywork to match. Fully independent suspension provides the agile handling reflexes BMWs are famed for, and anti-lock disc brakes all round take care of stopping chores. In the cockpit, everything is easy to reach from the hip-hugging driver's seat. BMW built its first car, a tiny sedan called the Dixie, in 1928, after gaining a solid reputation for many years in the aero engine field. Great BMW roadsters of the past include the beautiful 507 of 1955 and the innovative and powerful Z1. The Z3 2.8 continues a great tradition few rivals can match. The original Camaro debuted in 1966 at the height of the muscle car era. Auto buffs loved the car, but wanted more performance, and Chevrolet gave it to them in the form of the more powerful Z28 in 1967, the first year a Camaro paced the Indy 500. The Z28 has always been the most desirable of the Camaro line, and year by year, they've become faster and more agile. The current Z28 benefits from range-wide styling changes introduced on the Camaro for 1998. The long hood is sleeker than ever, and enthusiasts agree that the car has never looked better. It's never performed better either, and the lusty 5.7-liter, 305-horsepower V8 provides the kind of get-up-and-go Camaro fans expect. Available handling upgrades can create a Z28 that's even faster through the curves than the standard car, basic transmission is a five-speed manual, 
but a six-speed is available as an option for even sportier driving. Z28 buyers can choose coupe or convertible versions or opt for a T-bar roof with removable tinted panels. Safety highlights include big anti-lock disc brakes all round and dual airbags. Interior appointments for the Z28 include full instrumentation, complete with tachometer and 155 mile per hour speedometer. Just about everything that can be powered is powered. This ultimate Camaro didn't happen by chance. The engineers and designers at Chevrolet have more than 30 years of tradition to draw on. Although General Motors was founded in 1908, it wasn't until 1953 that Chevrolet division launched America's sports car, the legendary Corvette. The car was an instant hit, and every vet since has achieved classic status among enthusiasts the world over. The latest Corvette is the C5, the first all-new model since 1984. Although very much state-of-the-art, it remains close to the tried-and-true original concept with its glass fiber bodywork and potent power plant. As with most previous models, buyers can choose either a coupe, hardtop, or a convertible. The C5 has been judged the best vet yet by auto critics and fans and boasts sleek, sinuous lines and much improved interior design. Though it has a family resemblance to earlier models, it draws on highly advanced technology to make it right at home among the world's supercars. Great engines have always been at the heart of this car's popularity, and the new model doesn't disappoint. Under its low aerodynamic hood sits a new aluminum V8, putting out a hefty 345 horsepower. Blinding acceleration is complemented by road-hugging handling, aided by fully independent suspension with race car design origins. Like its predecessors, the C5 is more affordable than most of its supercar rivals with comparable performance and boasts such high-tech features as run-flat tires, a heads-up display, and a pressure check system in the cockpit. Corvette fans agree that the C5 is another legend in the making. Ferrari's newest car, the 360 Modena, is perhaps the company's most advanced production car to date. Named after the birthplace of Enzo Ferrari, the 360 Modena uses Ferrari's first all-aluminum frame, body, and suspension combination. With additional improvements in every element of the car's design, the 360 is lighter, stronger, and faster than its predecessor, the popular F355. The 360's 90-degree V8 
produces a top speed of 185 miles per hour and a zero to 60 time just under four and a half seconds. Combined with technical advancements in the drivetrain and transmission, the 360 is a well-balanced, strong performer that lives up to Ferrari's racing heritage. The 360's body design, inspired by the classic 1963 250 LM, is so aerodynamically efficient, it produces almost four times the downforce than the F355 at top speed. This design alleviates the need for spoilers and air dams, resulting in a body that is sublimely elegant. With accents such as the split front grille, sculpted air intakes, and integrated headlamps, the 360 Modena makes the Ferrari lovers' heart race and passions flare. Enzo Ferrari is one of the giants of auto racing history, and his legacy continues with today's supercars proudly bearing the famed Prancing Horse Badge. Ferrari's 550 Marinello, named after the small town in Italy where the fabled cars are built, returns to a front engine layout, much like that of the classic Daytona and earlier models. It harks back to the days of such Ferrari classics as the 250 GTO and GT racers of the 50s and 60s. The 550, successor to the great Testarossa, uses one of Ferrari's superbly engineered V12 power plants, a 5.5-liter unit developing a solid 485 horsepower. The super-fast GT car has been judged one of the most refined Ferraris ever built, although its silky feel can be deceptive and extremely high speeds come up very quickly indeed. The cockpit of the 550 Marinello draws heavily on Ferrari tradition with its elegant three-spoke steering wheel, classic round instruments, and gated six-speed gear shifter. Ferrari lovers wouldn't have it any other way. Ferrari's awesome F50 has been described as a street-legal Formula One racer, and that title isn't too far from the truth. It's based closely on the racer that won six F1 events in 1990. Driving the dramatically styled F50 with its reinforced carbon fiber bodywork and mid-mounted V12 is the closest you'll get to riding in a Ferrari Grand Prix car. The superbly hand-built 4.7-liter 12-cylinder uses state-of-the-art technology to develop a massive 513 horsepower. A six-speed close-ratio manual transmission distributes power to extremely wide rear wheels. The car is exceptionally fast, with a top speed that could only be exploited on the track. Huge ventilated disc brakes made by the same company that supplies the Ferrari F1 team keep all the power under control. The F50 cockpit is all business and follows Ferrari's policy of avoiding gimmickry and concentrating on driver essentials. All the controls are exactly where they should be, allowing the driver to concentrate on piloting this remarkable supercar. 
The Marinello automaker has built many superb sports cars since Enzo Ferrari founded the company back in the 1940s. But none have quite matched the amazing F50. The AU XR8 Falcon is a standout from the crowd sporting sedan that delivers all it promises. The spectacular styling is matched by its race-bred performance. Precise steering, sharp handling, class-leading power and aggressive athletic looks have always been a given for the XR range produced by Ford's performance partner Tickford. Designed, engineered and manufactured in Australia, the XR range amplifies the bold edges and flowing silhouette of the AU Falcon range, creating an image that reflects the car's power and poise. Standard equipment for the AU XR8 includes a class-leading 185kW sequentially injected 5-litre V8 power plant, 16-inch alloy wheels and Ford's advanced multi-link independent rear suspension. All XR automatic transmissions feature adaptive shift technology with the ability to read a driver's style and maximize performance. Inside, the XR has an undeniable sports feel with black and red trim, heavily bolstered seat cushions and sports instrumentation. The AU XR8 Falcon is a sophisticated pace setter that delivers decades of racing tradition and sets the standard for Australian performance cars. HSV has perfected the art of alchemy and turned base metal into pure gold. In order to best appreciate HSV's newest model SV99, you must see it move. With 250 kilowatts, SV99 is the most powerful Australian sedan ever produced. In a limited edition colour saffron with coloured matched gold leather interior, there is no greater driving machine on our roads. Available only in limited numbers, SV99 continues the great tradition of Holden's special vehicles, which has turned out many cult cars in its star-studded 11-year history. The result of years of product planning and development, SV99 is based on HSV's top-of-the-range GTS, but with stunning enhancements for the serious driving enthusiast. With a unique 18-inch wheel and tyre package linked to performance suspension and brakes, the SV99 stops like no other Australian-built car, and it would want to. SV99 is the first vehicle to unleash HSV's new 5.7 litre Generation 3 V8 engine. Developed in conjunction with GM engine operations worldwide, in HSV form, this amazing power plant provides a massive 250 kilowatts of power at 5600 revs and 475 newton meters of torque at 4000 RPM. Yet again, HSV has shown the Midas touch with this golden special vehicle. 
Never before have Grand Tourers commanded as much attention as HSV SV99. Jaguar's sinuous XKR sports car has won worldwide praise for both looks and performance since its launch, but the famed British automaker is not resting on its laurels. The new XKR boosts performance to even higher levels by adding a supercharger to the ultra-refined 4-liter V8 XK power unit. Mated to a computer-controlled 5-speed automatic transmission, the upgraded engine produces outstanding throttle response and performance greater than its stablemate. The XKR is a natural descendant of the legendary E-Type sports car of the 1960s and 70s and is proving a worthy successor. The XKR borrows styling cues from the E-Type while adding every possible modern engineering refinement. Jaguars have always combined luxury with performance, a tradition that goes back to the firm's first serious sports car, the SS100 of 1936. The XKR gives owners that uniquely British combination of carefully selected handcrafted walnut veneers for interior accenting and top quality leathers for seating and trim. The XKR is a race-bred car, drawing on Jaguar's historic race victories at Le Mans, Monza, Brands Hatch, and many other famous circuits around the world. You can spot an XKR by its bonnet louvers, boot lid spoiler, and unique 18-inch wheels, but none of these additions detract from the pure grace and style of this elegant new Jaguar. Looking at the stunning Diablo SV, it's hard to believe that Lamborghini got started in Italy as a tractor manufacturer. Beginning with classics like the 1963 350 GT, progressing through the beautiful 1967 Mura, and leading up to the brash and trendsetting Countach of 1974, Lamborghini has gained a firm footing in the heady world of supercars. Older Lamborghinis are now much sought after and fetch high prices at classic car auctions the world over. Built from steel tubing, aluminum alloy, and light, strong carbon fiber, the SV uses one of Lamborghini's superb 5.7-liter V12 power plants with a stirring 529 horsepower on tap. Semi-active suspension makes for very nimble handling, and the SV's disc brakes are similar to those used on Formula One race cars. Inside the low-slung Lamborghini, driver and passenger get hip-hugging race-style seats, and the dash is trimmed in luxurious suede. Visibility is better than might be expected in such an exotic car, and the mechanical symphony from the SB's mid-mounted engine is guaranteed to delight any lover of things automotive. Like so many other Italian exotics, Lamborghinis are admired around the world, and lucky SV owners are always the center of attention wherever auto fans gather.
The McLaren F1 GTR has been a dominating force in sports car racing since 1995, when it won the great Le Mans 24-hour race first time out. No make of car had ever achieved this remarkable feat in its first year of production. Not surprisingly, the F1 GTR has been described as one of the great sports racing cars of all time. The F1 is arguably the most visually attractive of all rivals in the lofty supercar class, with its felt carbon fiber bodywork and unusual cockpit which locates the driver centrally. McLaren is one of the most successful race car constructors ever and has won numerous championships in Grand Prix, Can-Am and sports car racing since its founding by New Zealander Bruce McLaren in 1963. After his tragic death in a race car testing accident in 1970, the firm, under Ron Dennis's vision, went on to become one of the most successful Formula One teams in history and continues dominating Formula One today. The McLaren GTR is a highly modified version of the F1 road car and is powered by a sophisticated 6.1 liter BMW V12, which propels the lightweight racer through the gears at astonishing speeds. It also boasts outstanding reliability to handle the demands of endurance racing. McLaren built 28 GTRs between 1995 and 1997, with horsepower figures ranging from 600 to 640. Suspension was upgraded to handle the demands of racing, but the basic design of the road-going F1 was the key to this car's amazing record. Not many race cars dominate their first season of competition the way the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR did. The low-slung, stylish racer won the closely fought FIA GT Championship first time out in 1997, despite tough competition. The GTR is based on Mercedes' sleek new CLK road-going coupe, but uses a high-tech carbon fiber body and a 6-liter, 600-horsepower Mercedes B12 engine similar to that used in the famed German automaker's flagship S-Class sedan. Perhaps it's no surprise that Mercedes was so successful with its new race car. The company has a history of competition laurels that goes all the way back to the very first Benz automobiles of the turn of the century. Mercedes dominated Grand Prix racing in the 1930s and again in the 1950s. Today, the fabled Stuttgart company still leads the way with winning engines for Formula One and kart race cars. A direct descendant of those great Mercedes racers of the past, the CLK GTR boasts many leading-edge technological features, including carbon fiber vented disc brakes, similar to those used on Grand Prix cars. Safety is also a critical consideration, and the CLK GTR is one of the very few race cars fitted with life-saving airbags. Mercedes-Benz has built many legendary sports cars over the years, from the famous 1928 SSK to the classic 1954 300SL Gullwing. 
but the all-new SLK 230 is possibly the most innovative of them all. The thing that sets the SLK apart from rival sports cars is that it's both a coupe and a convertible, thanks to a unique steel roof that cleverly folds and retracts into the trunk in just 25 seconds at the touch of a button. Even with the roof folded, there's still plenty of room in the trunk, making this very much a one-of-a-kind sportster. A car for all seasons and all reasons, as Mercedes describes it. The compact SLK is powered by a supercharged 2.3-liter twin-cam four-cylinder that develops 193 horsepower, giving the lightweight car snappy acceleration at a top speed that's up with the best in its class. With its sophisticated all-independent suspension, the SLK is a nimble performer on winding roads. Safety was a major design parameter right from the start, and the SLK incorporates dual integrated rollover bars, front and side airbags, and a very rugged body structure. The SLK cleverly took styling cues from those great Mercedes sports cars of the past with its long hood and short trunk. The twin power domes on the hood are a tribute to the legendary 300 SL, and the interior combines wonderfully retro instruments and controls with advanced engineering design. GTR は路上最速であるとともにサーキットでも上昇しなければならないその避けようのない宿命は R34GTR でも不変である R32GTR から引き継がれる RB26DETT パワーユニットの最高出力は国内自主規制枠である280馬力で先代と変わらないが下級圧のアップや各部のリファインにより最大トルクはついに40キロに到達スペックをはるかに超えるそのポテンシャルを電子制御トルクスプリット 4WD システムにより余すところなく路面に伝えるトランスミッションは新たにドイツゲトラム社と6速マニュアルを共同開発 GTR ならではのリニアな加速レスポンスを実現している V スペックには量産車として世界でも類を見ないアドバンスドエアロシステムを採用アンダーボディを覆う前後のディフューザーにより強烈なダウンフォースを発生させ超高速域での抜群の安定感に貢献しているサーキットで育ち数々の伝説を残してきた GTR 日産から究極のドライビングプレジャーを全てのドライバーへ史上最速の車に進化した R34GTR にもはや国内のライバルは存在しない。
was back in the muscle car performance crazed late 60s that Pontiac launched its first Firebird. Enthusiasts were hungry for even more muscle and high performance versions quickly followed. The muscle car lives today with Firebird's top of the line brawny WS6 Ram Air. With its twin functional hood scoops, performance handling package, and highly polished 17-inch alloy wheels with wide road-hugging tires. No muscle car would be worth its name without a potent power plant, and the Firebird delivers. Under its sculptured hood sits a 5.7-liter V8, developing a hefty 305 horsepower, enough to give the car lightning acceleration, 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. High performance handling is assured with the fully integrated traction control system and hefty four-wheel disc brakes. The gauges mean business, just like the rest of the car. White on black by day and glowing red at night, they keep the driver informed. The result is a uniquely powerful modern-day muscle car that boasts performance, handling, dramatic styling, and safety for the 21st century. The muscle car lives. The Porsche 911 Turbo is the last and fastest of a line of thoroughbred sports cars that dates back to the original 911 of 1963. Even before that, sports car fans the world over delighted to earlier Porsches like the famed 356 Spyder. Based on the 911 Carrera, the Turbo uses wider rear bodywork to accommodate rear wheels and tires of almost race car proportions. A big rear spoiler helps maintain stability at the very high speeds this car is easily capable of. The secret behind the turbo's awesome performance is a twin-turbo 408 horsepower horizontally opposed air-cooled six-cylinder engine of 3.6 liters displacement, mated to a six-speed manual gearbox. The most powerful Porsche ever offered uses a sophisticated all-wheel drive system to maintain traction during high-performance driving on wet or dry roads. Huge vented anti-lock disc brakes give performance comparable to purpose-built race cars. To reduce weight and enhance handling, the turbo's 18-inch alloy wheels use hollow spokes. The turbo's suspension is so effective at high cornering speeds, it takes a race car driver to fully appreciate this amazingly capable sports car. This formidable automobile is the ultimate road-going Porsche and draws on a long history of racing successes in many arenas of the sport. Porsches have won many times at Le Mans, Daytona, and other major circuits around the world. And the German automaker continues its track record of success today. Nestled in a country setting, this course is no picnic. Even advanced drivers will have to balance blistering speeds with precise and timely steering technique. Long sweeping curves and wide roadways define this wide open race. But keep alert, subtle elevation changes and low visibility from fog may present a tough challenge. Look off road to your left after the tree canopy for a shortcut opening between the rocks. Turn slightly and shoot the gap. Watch your speed and timing on these back-to-back S-turns by the Wax Museum. Stay wide and dive for the inside of each turn to shave seconds off a record time. The German countryside will be a blur on this fast track. You'll speed through a green landscape lined with weathered cottages towering windmills at a traditional German town celebrating Oktoberfest, of course. These roads are very narrow and rarely straight, so pay attention to your speed and line. Drive onto the grass to your left and shoot the gap between the trees and the fence for a good shortcut. Hold on tight, you'll catch some major air getting back on the road. 
you'll have to lay off the gas to make this long 180 degree turn without hitting the guardrail. Brake hard to keep from hitting the wall on this sharp right turn leading back into town. Prepare for a harrowing racing experience among the windswept cliffs of this coastal track. Climb to the height of old igneous rock and then plummet to the windswept coast. These ancient roads will put your handling skills to the test. A narrow S-turn will require quick steering. To avoid the rock walls, brake slightly and cut to the inside of this turn for the best line. The narrow roads through this forest hide a number of quick, sharp turns. Tap your brakes while taking these corners to avoid leaving precious paint on the walls. Think fast. Right after this sharp left, hug the right wall and take to the grass. Shoot through this tight area between the rock and the wall to shave off seconds and separate from the pack. This beautiful wilderness retreat combines rugged terrain with thick alpine forests. But among these sweet pines, leisure takes a back seat to speed as you set out to be victorious on this idyllic wilderness track. Bring your license to fly as sudden and steep elevation changes clear you for takeoff into the crisp mountain air. Rocket ahead right off the start through these S-turns. Use the grass area for a straighter line but the uneven ground can make holding that line difficult. Watch your speed and line here. You'll catch some huge air off this steep drop in elevation. Just be sure to set up left before the jump, then keep a straight line towards the right to stay out of the trees. Cut the corners and look for a straighter line through this narrow and twisting section near the train tracks. Brake hard to stay off the walls when taking this harsh left turn near the end of this section. Set in the rural Northlands, this unique course takes you across pastoral farmland and rustic countryside. In contrast to the rural lifestyle, you'll careen down narrow country roads, but watch out for sudden twists, dips, and obstacles. Lay off the gas and hug these quick, narrow turns that appear in town. It's an uphill climb, so be sure to accelerate as soon as you're clear of the turn. Let up on the gas through these sharp dips to avoid the big air. To stay off the walls, keep a steady speed along this long S-turn by the cliffside. A few quick turns combined with a timely deceleration will power you through this narrow section of walls. Watch your speed, or these stone walls will help redesign the frame of your supercar. Race along these uneven highways that weave through the rural English farmland. Known for its rolling hillsides, these roads present elevation changes that will send your supercar airborne. And remember, this is rain and fog country, so low visibility may provide a steep challenge. The road splits here, so choose a side because it will be tough to change lanes. Ease off the gas to keep from hitting the walls or weave between the pillars for a better line. Prepare for takeoff because these crests in the road will send you flying through the air. To minimize the amount you catch, ease off the gas just before driving over these jumps. Hit the brakes hard when going through this underpass to avoid hitting the wall and accelerate as soon as you straighten out. A treacherous alpine speedway awaits you on this track. Navigate the narrow roadways heavy with snow, but hold on. There's plenty of jagged rock and frost-covered glades, creating conditions that would whiten the knuckles of the most seasoned veteran. You'll need to use your brake and some precise steering technique to drive a direct line through these S-turns after the open wood tunnel. Quick steering adjustments will save you from the walls. In these dangerous tunnels, the road is narrow and winding. Tap quickly on the brakes to avoid the walls near the mid-tunnel section and again at the end. 
This sharp right turn requires preparation. Start braking early and power slide your car through the apex as near to the rock wall as you dare. Slam down on the gas as soon as you clear the rocks for maximum results. This extremely tight track may create a claustrophobic feeling in most racers. Tapping your brakes around tight corners will help you keep on the road and off those raised bumpers. If you try to cut corners on this track, your car will flip. This first right turn after the start line demands a hard brake to keep off the wall, especially when you have a lot of speed approaching it. Set up to the outside and cut inside as you start to brake for the best line. Hit the brakes hard on this long right turn after the first underpass to keep from jumping into the wall. Tapping the brakes won't work here, so as you approach this turn, stay to the inside and brake hard. Keep to the road by tapping the brakes through these narrow S-turns in the wooded section. Don't get too close to the crest at the side of the road or your car will take flight. This closed road course will test all of your racing skills. Hit your top speed as you navigate through narrow S-turns and raised barriers. Only driving technique and guts will earn you first prize here. Ease off the gas a little and keep a straight line as you reach the crest of this jump early on in the race, or your car will end up in the walls that crowd this narrow racetrack. You'll have to tap the brakes when you start to take this tough turn entering the tunnel to keep your car scratch-free. Watch out! This right turn will appear suddenly and requires hard braking to keep from driving over the crest at the end of the road and catapulting into the concrete wall. Set against the backdrop of majestic snow-capped mountains, this all-out racing track has a few surprises in store. Areas with huge elevation changes and pillars that divide the roadway are some of the challenges that define this closed circuit course. A series of quick taps on the brakes will help you navigate through this section of quick turns. Keep to the center of the road and away from the dangerous crests located on both sides. Keep your eye on the road because it will suddenly drop out from under you in these two sections of track. You'll have to weave through concrete pillars here to keep a straight line. It may be a rural setting, but this track is anything but laid back. Speed's the name of the game. So keep your eyes peeled for landmarks blurring by that could help with your timing on corners and jumps. Concealed by the covered bridges is a jump that produces some big air. To keep damage to a minimum, keep a straight line as you take flight. You'll have to let up on the gas just a touch to avoid becoming part of the concrete overpasses in this section. Stay sharp. This section is narrow and winding with limited visibility in some places. Lined with lampposts, the main street of town obscures a sudden 90 degree turn Take it tight and fast, sliding your back end through the turn and accelerating as quickly as possible. Speed zones littered with dust and obstacles require decisive steering on this canyon course. The roads in this canyon roll and dip, with crumbling rock walls looming dangerously close to the sides of the road. Narrow sidelines and outcroppings of rock prove treacherous on this divided highway. Switch from lane to lane and dodge between the rocks to achieve the best speed and lowest time in this section. Come in wide, hit the brakes, and steer for the shortcut opening between the rocks. Power through to the other side to elude aggressive opponents and shave a few seconds from a prize time. Snug rock caverns and elevation changes appear suddenly and without warning. Look to road signs as indicators of where the road may go and be ready to hit the brakes when approaching blind turns and step on the gas as the road comes into view. Reminiscent of the Monaco Grand Prix, 
This course combines narrow, twisting roadways with bi-level ramps and concrete obstacles set in a futuristic backdrop. Quick decisions at high speeds are the rule, with plentiful shortcuts and divided roadways. Maintaining your top speed here is easy if you can stick to the shoulder through this run of narrow canals. Tap the brake when confronted with the sharp left turn as the canals end. You'll need to decelerate to around 85 miles per hour to take this 180 degree bank turn. For the second wide bank turn, keep your speed close to 120 miles per hour and power through. You won't need your brake on this one. Trying to change lanes after this roadway splits may cause your car to flip. To keep your rooftop scratch free, keep to one side and look for a chance to switch back when the lanes converge. Pine trees and steep cliffs provide a scenic view to this mountainous track. You'll climb from the start and then drop like a stone as you hurtle towards the finish line. The roads are narrow here and a few switchbacks will test your ability to maneuver through tight spaces. Cliffside driving on this stretch requires quick and accurate adjustments to maintain a very high speed. Be prepared for a sharp right-hand turn around a jagged rock wall at the end of this stretch. This tough series of switchbacks provide a tough challenge. Either ease off the gas and hug the inside of each turn, which cuts down on the distance you drive, or come in fast from the outside and then brake hard, sliding the back end of the car through the turn before accelerating. This shortcut over the grassy hill provides a golden opportunity to take the lead for the home stretch. But watch out, the air you catch from this jump may also propel you straight into a tree. This snow-covered country course combines wide-open roadways with sharp 90-degree turns and high-speed jumps. Strong cornering technique is vital to overcoming these slippery streets. Sharp 90-degree turns demand a quick steering response. Cut the wheel sharply as soon as you near the corner and at the same time, ride the brakes to power slide through these extreme turns. This series of 180 degree turns requires a healthy dose of braking to stay on the road. Watch out, trying to cut through the snow will cause your car to skid. Keep your eyes peeled on this section for a shortcut on your right. Stay sharp, turn off the road through a forest of trees that guard this narrow space. The reward of a lower time is well worth the risk. Dive into the depths of this canyon course. Ancient temples remain as a reminder of a storied past, but you'll only see them as a blur. Speeds will be very high on this track, so be ready to brake as you rocket through its blind turns. This divided highway is best overcome by weaving between the rocks for a straighter line. Watch out, stick to one lane as the roadway splits into three different levels. Only change lanes when the levels converge or your car will flip on its roof. Stay alert for the sharp 90 degree left turn as you exit this tunnel after the split level highway. You'll need to tap the brakes without hitting the wall or the guardrail. High-tech, futuristic architecture surrounds these winding roadways. High speeds are tough to maintain, especially when confronted with twisting roadways, sharp turns, and steep elevation changes, which comprise the majority of this formidable course. A shortcut through the wall on your right is your ticket to the front of the pack. This is a great area to escape from your opponents, but if you fail to hit this narrow opening just right, they will be the last to laugh. This underwater tunnel provides a surreal backdrop as the race nears its halfway point. No need to use the brake here. Hug the inside of each turn to pick up seconds. This cliffside road following the underwater tunnel provides a steep challenge. There are no guardrails here, 
so one mistake will result in a spectacular crash. Decelerate on the turns and use caution when trying to cut corners. This snowy peak of narrow alpine roads twist and weave over a steep and rocky landscape. Use your brakes wisely because high speeds on this unpredictable course can put a sudden stop to a great run and leave you with only crushed steel and broken glass instead of a prized record. This sudden drop off will leave you stuck in the wall unless you let up on the gas just as you reach the crest of the jump. Keep a line heading straight to the left to keep from hitting the walls. This section of the course is designed like a world-class slalom. The same rules will apply here. Steer as close to the walls as possible and find a rhythm to conquer this downhill section. Sharp turns in the town can make or break your chances at victory. Look for opportunities to dive between the lampposts and buildings to sneak past an opponent. Skyscrapers in this dark metropolis stand tall against the skyline. These city streets resemble an obstacle course with concrete pillars and lampposts posing a great challenge to even the most nimble driver. A shortcut on your left by the wharf just after the start of this race will give you a jump on the pack. But beware, use your brake wisely to navigate through these tight corners. Downtown offers the smart driver a chance to make up some time. Cut inside of the lampposts and drive on the grass to cut down the angles on these 90 degree turns. What appears to be just another wall actually holds the key to a record race. Smash through these wooden boards and shoot through the narrow opening to chop off some major time and make your final dash for the finish line.